Hey everyone, Shark here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a 1v1 for you on Famineville Approach. This features an American player with a really aggressive Ranger heavy build. And judging by the feedback comments, especially in the Company of Heroes forums, I know that high level Ranger play is something a lot of people struggle to counter. So this game might give you some ideas on how you can manage uh, these really, really effective elite infantry. Playing as the Axis, we have Avatar out of Australia, ranked number 37 overall with the Wehrmacht, and he eventually chooses the Luftwaffe battle group. While playing as allies, we have Ares coming from the USA, uh, right number 25 overall with the Americans, and obviously using the Advanced Infantry Battle Group. Casting this one with me is my longtime teammate and Company of Heroes, Savant Seppis, fresh off of his summer holidays, right back into co-casting. Um, yeah, only thing I really got to say about this, really clean play from both sides. Uh, this match is decided at the very last second, so uh, I hope you all enjoy, and with that, we'll roll on to the video. Hey everyone, <clears throat> so got a good one for you today. Got Avatar playing as a Wehrmacht on the uh, west side of the map here on Famineville Approach. Uh, immediately building his infantry company and getting a Kettenkrot out. And then Ares on the east side of the map, or the top of the screen here, playing as the Americans, getting his barracks, getting a second scout squad out. Um, so interested to see his approach here. Uh, Ares and I, we play a, a fair amount. I know he plays Wehrmacht quite a bit. I'm used to seeing his uh, his approach there. So interested to see how he counters it from Avatar. So what do you think of the uh, the two scout start here? I use it quite a bit because of the capping power. The scouts uh, capture points a bit quicker. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, uh, there's a, some lack of firepower. But I don't think it's going to be a problem against the Wehrmacht in the first couple of minutes. Yeah, I, you know, I see in 1v1s normally like a second utility unit early. Uh, although normally I'm used to seeing an engineer squad. Right, MG42 sets up here and immediately suppresses the rifles. They're going to try to get behind green cover, so the MG42 is going to move. We'll, we'll see if the Pioneers do any damage. They, they might do it quite a bit. They do better damage now, although it's interesting. You remember in Co 2, if you were suppressed and then a unit kept shooting at you, uh, you would stay suppressed. That's not the case in Co 3, so the rifle is able to recover. Um, trade a model with the Pioneers. Ren's out now for Avatar. Ares goes advanced infantry battle group here, so it looks like we'll be seeing some rangers today. <clears throat> MG42 wisely repositions to hold, both cap the fuel and then resuppress these rifles. So you can kind of see, uh, looking at the attack map here, Avatar really focusing on the north side of the map, making sure he gets his, his fuel and starts to push onto Ares, uh, and then using his grenadiers to counter cap on the opposite side. Uh, Scout's doing some good work against the MG42. Well, the Grens are going to win this here and actually keep areas from capping this fuel point. A smoke grenade on the machine gun to allow the Scouts to recover from suppression and recap that fuel. So both sides kind of trading fuel control in the early game. Yeah. Uh, Ares has a head start in the, in the build order, I think. Hmm. His third rifle squad coming out and going ISC, which is another indicator that he's probably playing Rangers. Hettenkrod just going to sit here, support the MG42, and prevent the scouts from capping. I like this play, to be honest. Yep. Now, rifles challenge Grenadiers here in the middle, going for this cutoff. This is a good play by Ares because it negates uh, the Hettenkrod capping this fuel here. But as you can see, MG42 coming up on the flank. I think the rifles are still going to be able to decap this. Oh, yeah. Nice put in yeah, the green cover. It was worth it. Um, I think so. He doesn't really lose a whole lot for that, yeah. Oh, Avatar's Grenadier is pushing the scouts on the opposite side of the map. It's the Rangers, though. Mm -hmm. But he's, on he's, he's unlocked the artillery observers. Right, so I, I kind of like that. He's got two scout squads on the field, so they'll get an extra model and upgraded rifle performance, which should help them actually push off the Grens here like this. You, know, you say that as one guy just takes a round to the chest. And I like that you see both players really focusing on these center fuels. 
territory, Commandant. What now? Uh, Captain Cut already vet one from the mine that knocked down some of those riflemen. Captain coming out. And now a mortar for Ares. So I think he is concerned about this MG42. And Avatar has been doing a really good job moving it around. I love this. He gets a burst off, he forces a retreat with the MG, and then he immediately relocates. So Ares isn't sure when he's going to run into it. And you don't want to discover an MG42's position by just walking right into its line of fire. Oh. The scouts jump in the building, force the pioneers to retreat. That's smart. No. Ares having captured uh, this southern fuel. He'll have a, a fuel advantage for a couple of minutes here. Um, oh yeah. Panzer Grenadier Company coming out for Avatar. Seth, you, you're, you've got area stuff uh, up. Do you, let me know when he does advanced logistics. Because when I've talked to him in the past about like a Ranger heavy build, that's he normally prioritizes that to minimize mm -hmm. kind of the manpower bleed. It's gonna be interesting. Might offset his, uh, his vehicles a little, little bit. Yeah. A uh, weird smoke coming in from the mortar. Oh, there we go. Very far apart. Yeah, the scatter on that was kind of nuts. Uh, but the MG42 does retreat. Uh, very, very low health. Honestly, Avatar doing a great job dealing with the pressure. Right, Ares has six infantry units uh, to Avatar's three. But with MG42 and the Kettenkrod, he's maintained decent control over the map so far. <clears throat> Research completed. And actually, he's got Ares down to 300 VPs already. Oh yeah, he's playing the VP game. Okay, Ares is building advanced logistics now. <laughs> there it is. Any has unlocked the Ranger call-in. Uh, that might come in handy. It's very, <laughs> Rangers are pretty expensive. Yeah. There we go. Grenadier is forced off on the south side of the map. And here comes... Ah. So, Avatar going Luftwaffe. And he's going to yeah, drop yeah. A, a squad of uh, Fallschirmjägers here. No, conservative drop. He didn't drop him behind anyone. Um, he's interesting. lacking fighting infantry. Sorry. No, no, no. You're good. That, you're, you're right, right? They're, they're still multi-role infantry, they still have uh, a Faust they can deal with the light vehicles. Uh, because from Avatar's perspective, he knows that Ares is using advanced infantry from sea and the, their artillery observers. But you still have to be concerned about USF light vehicles. Uh, and so with the Panzer Company, your primary thought, you can get AT guns out, but those can be relatively static. So I like uh, kind of upgrading from Grenz to Fallschirmjägers here. MG42 smoked. Now mortar coming in. Nice. Territory is ours. So Ares combining right. smoke from the scouts and the mortar to keep that MG42 headed back to base. And so uh, really good munitions control for him. He's got four of these plus 10 points right now. Excuse me, five, but four of the uh, six in the center. So that could come in handy with these ranger drops. And we see the first. Yeah. yeah. There it is. I think first you're about Ranger to call squad. it. Yeah, first Ranger squad, first weapons drop. Walshamiang is pushed all the way up, forced the captain away. And this this map is so kind of wide and flat that mortar can more or less sit in Ares base and operate and and cover a good portion of the center of the map. Territory lost. Oh, we got two BARs from the weapon drop. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, oh, well. there's no way Ares actually purchased the BAR upgrade. On us. Scouts come in to push on the uh, Kettenkrod. Ranger's going to close the distance here with the Fallschirmjägers, and then rifles on the flank. Ooh, one scout squad at risk of going down. But they'll get away. Ranger's using the sight blocker. MG42 in the back, so I don't know if Ares saw it or he just feels it, but that's smart uh, to avoid pushing into that. And grenadier grenade forces away rifleman. 
See, very patient play by both players still. And I think, you know, Avatar, he can afford to be a little patient. He's got the VP advantage. Uh, but doing a good job moving around his infantry in groups, using the machine gun for support, getting a burst off, and then relocating it. Meanwhile, Aerie is definitely setting up for a flank with this Ranger squad. And V42 actually must see it because they are positioned to deal with the Rangers here. Sorry, my turn dropped for that. Yeah, not able to close the distance. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> I'm back. Hmm. Okay, Avatar is pushing back Ares. Yeah, he, oh, he set up a, a nice little ambush there with the MG42, suppressed both of the infantry, and now he's going to be able to capture that entire side of the map. But Ares is no slouch, and so he's got scouts and a captain counter capping on the opposite side. Another weapon drop coming in, and another ranger squad. This time, you see a BAR and a light machine gun. Uh, so he's not getting any anti vehicle. Which is fine for now, but again, worrying about the long term. And Avatar getting a Panzer Company out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see how it, how he's going, how he's going to counter the armor. Yeah, I think both players content to play with infantry and team weapons for right now. So we got one bazooka on the rifleman squad now. Yeah, motor pool coming out. So Ares recognizes he needs the AT, and so I imagine we'll see uh, an AT gun. Uh, Avatar's got his safe ammunition point. He's got a, a lot of munitions points capped up right now. And actually, the MG42 in this advanced position uh, in a really good spot to just challenge Ares. So now, Ares consolidating on the south side of the map and now pushing through the center. Rangers throw a grenade on the Falchion Mager. They dodge it. But the Rangers, that'll allow the Rangers to close the distance a little bit. Yeah, Gren's forced to retreat. They won't hold up against these Rangers. And maybe the Falchion Mager, although they don't drop... There they go. They finally drop two models. Meanwhile, a couple of rangers dropped to the Grenadiers here. Mortar comes in to support. Yeah, this squad has two LMGs, so... Area's right to kind of keep them at range, especially with the limited models. And he's going to swap out, have the other squad try to close the distance with these Grenadiers. We have lost control of a victory point. One ranger squad forced to retreat. Here comes the ranger assault on these Grens. Ares really concerned about keeping his fuel together. Yep, Grens oh, yeah. first off. He's pretty much uh, because he got that upgrade to uh, lower the reinforcement cost. He's like behind the fuel, so mm -hmm. he really needs to prioritize it now. Yeah, and then he needs to make use of that to either translate that investment into manpower bleed on the Vermont or map control, right? More mines on uh, the fuel point on the north side of the map. So Ares yeah, rifles yeah. kind of eat a couple, eat a couple models there. We have a Captain God. Might die now, maybe. We'll see. But I don't know. Did he? He didn't tech grenades, and it dodges the bazooka. Triple veteran. Oh man, it takes a bunch of damage. That's but, <laughs> so quick. Yeah. Reversing. And no one else is there to capitalize. Captain squaring off against some grenadiers. Yeah, the captain's gonna lose this one, so. Well, like some veterancy, will most likely retreat here. Oh, Ares, he's got the Ranger weapon training upgrade now, and so you'll start to see uh, debuffs when they engage with these units. Some really big. I, I think that makes the Rangers really, really strong. You know, the boys' assault push is also helpful, but I think in this case, when you need to worry about winning engagements against infantry, this is the way to go. Paul Shimiga thinks about throwing a grenade, but is forced to retreat to avoid losing too many more models. Grenadiers find the mortar team start to chip away a little bit. Rangers are going to swing over to try to support. Ares might consider decapping the 
the middle strategic point a little bit to <clears throat> to deconnect the fuel point and the munitions point. Oh, nice grenade on the retreat path, but it just does a bunch of damage and knock down any models. Rum Bear on the field now, and Aries with a single AT gun and one bazooka, so he is behind the eight ball here. And I think Aries agreed with you, Seb. He's uh he's capping up the center VP with the scouts, and then he's got to do something about this MG on the north side of the map here. Got Chaffee on the way. Mm -hmm. uh, second pack 40 for Avatar, so he's prepared for this Chaffee. Uh, the Chaffee oh, yeah. very quick, but it needs to hit basically side or rear armor on the Brum Bear. It's not going to do much penetration on the front. Oh, side hit. Cool. MG42 cleared on the north side of the map. That's a big pickup for Ares at this point. And he's got one of his artillery beacons down now as well. Alright, here comes the infantry push. Oh, these scouts could go down here to the Falschenjägers. And uh, actually the captain at risk of going down oh, yeah. as well. Oh man, best retreat path ever if that captain gets away. Chaffee on the field, but with two Grand Spies and the Falsham Makers, it could get double snared here for the engine crit. There's one. Second snare out. Doesn't. Oh, it does the engine crit anyway. I say it doesn't hit in time, but does enough damage. The Ranger is going to hard counter this Gren push. A couple pack 40s were pushed up looking to hunt down the Chaffee, but they're going to end up backing up. Oh. No. Oh. And then the Ranger cover sprint. Can he knock out the Falsham Jaegers here? Uh, probably not. He does good damage. Now he's focused on pushing away the AT guns. The adversary is trying to take one of our points. Now a uh, strafe coming in to force the Rangers away. Ares sees it, almost dodges it, gets suppressed anyway. Yeah, you don't really don't want your rangers sitting here bleeding models to this from there. Even with the advanced logistics, they're expensive to replace. Commandant, territory sector lost. Yeah, and Ares having to invest in all that AT is a little behind on manpower. Uh, he's got one more rifle squad that he probably wants to upgrade into rangers. And again, I'm. I'm struck by how patient both players are being, right? They're being aggressive on the flanks in terms of capping, but they're not getting lulled into the big decisive engagements that they can't win. Um, sometimes it's exciting to go for the knockout blow, but when you're playing guys that are really good, it can be more risky than beneficial sometimes. Chaffee's repaired, coming out to deal with the, uh, the Rum Bear. It immediately gets a couple hits off. Grenadiers here to support. And they'll Faust the Chaffee. Ooh. Whoa. Pack 40 salvo. And the Chaffee is done. And double pack 40s. Rangers pushing on the Falschenjägers in the middle. If the Fal I was going to say, if he doesn't retreat them soon, they'll be at risk of going down themselves. Avatar floating quite a bit of resources now, so I expect to see either a second Brum Bear or a P4 here relatively soon. Rangers close to the Grenadiers, forcing them away. And I really think without the Falsham Jaegers, Avatar would be struggling to manage uh, the anti infantry engagement here. Uh, the Grens just don't, just can't stand up to these Ranger pushes anymore. So they have some good utility, but they're not going to do what you need them to do in the late game. Oh, this crud. Vet 3 crud goes down to a scout squad. Oh, Brumbear catches a rifle squad on retreat. Does a bunch of damage, but needs one really good hit here to kill this squad. And they won't get it. What are you saying? Ares is holding on pretty well against that drum bear. Territory 
Avatar might... Yeah, he's going for a P4. He might need more infantry, perhaps. I think he he needs more late game infantry. It can be the risky. Grenadiers. Yeah, I, I think you're right. The Grenadiers are not scaling as well as you would like. Uh, Valshroom Jaegers can be good, but they also are a little squishy when without veterancy. And so I wonder if they'll be a good choice against the Rangers, even with their utility. Might be worth going for Stoss Oh yeah, that's what I was thinking first. Uh -oh. oh, another MG42. Uh -oh. MG42 goes down, and the pack's forced to back up into base. You know, now, these Rangers are in trouble between the Brumbear, Falsham Jaeger, and P4. Other Rangers with the Bazooka on the way up, so that third rifle squad finally gets turned into Rangers. And now two AT guns for Ares. <clears throat> so he can mass. What's that? They metamor metamorphosize. <laughs> yeah. This is smart. Look at this. Putting them on the retreat path. Foster Mager's kind of burned down a little bit. I like this. He's trying to bait the vehicles into these uh, AT guns. The only thing, if you've been able to keep those Rangers up there, then maybe they get a bazooka shot off and you get a little bit of that, that vehicle crit. Oh, Grenadier Squad goes down uh, to the scouts in the building up here. Oh, and the artillery. I guarantee you they were stood still at a cap and that artillery beacon uh, dealt with them. Okay, Aries is in a good path now. All he needs is like a Hellcat with a couple, perhaps. Maybe. He yeah. doesn't really have any other option. I, I, yeah, I don't think that continuing to play with motor pool vehicles is worth it. We saw Jeff G try that a couple days ago, and that's very risky. Mm. Well, scouts knocked out here in this building. Brum or Panzer IV comes up and collapses the building. You might also get a 105 to finish off this infantry. That way Avatar would have no infantry to just fight with. He would have only some vehicles. Yeah, but he, that's going to require really good micro of these AT guns to make sure that you don't lose that 105 to the P4 in the pack 40s. Mm -hmm. Now Avatar also investing into the infantry reserves, so a lot of this manpower bleed that you'd expect is not going to hit him as hard as I'm sure Ares wants. Here's the Ranger with the bazookas stunning the P4. Um, AT guns though out of position to do anything about it. And I, I, I like how Avatar is making sure he keeps an MG42 on the field. It is a really good way to deal with a lot of the infantry here and make sure that you're not getting overwhelmed by the mass that the USF have. Although in this case with one of the scouts knocked out, it's really just the three ranger squads uh, and then the scout for capping with the captain in support. Take cover, oh. I saw that I saw that mine there for some reason I thought it was a US mine. I was like, oh man, that Grand Squad's really gonna hate that. <laughs> Pioneers here and they see the artillery beacon. Scouts come out to challenge. Looks like AT guns thinking about relocating to the north side of the map to deal with the P4. A second P4 on the field for Avatar. And so Ares really has to basically prevent Avatar from achieving critical mass here with these P4s or he'll never be able to counter it. The Rum Bear takes a couple of shots, but it can just really absorb damage. Rangers do a lot of damage to the Falchimagers, but they're going to have to leave as well with the, all these vehicles here. Yeah, Ares floating a ton of fuel, but he still doesn't have a tank. Oh, there he goes. He reads my mind. Uh, I guess the tank depot out. A second squad of pioneers now for Avatar. I I like that. I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, all the vehicles he's got on the field, they need to repair. 
There we go, second scout squad gone. Uh, the brum bear so there? Brum bear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now Ares might start feeling the inability to generate pressure. The rangers, right, even with advanced logistics, they reinforce so slowly in headquarters uh, that you really need some other element, whether it's engineers or scouts. And at this point with all the mines, I would probably go for engineers, another squad of engineers with a sweeper uh, to manage this. Although we can see the mines and Ares will find them by walking up on them. Okay, we'll see if the MG42 sets up in time. Ooh, that's the rapid artillery barrage. The MG42 is done. Immediately, Gren Squad gets knocked out. Uh oh. Yeah, and the Falchion Jaegers. Oh, bad retreat path. Oh, they take a lot of damage to the artillery, but they'll escape. The MG42 itself gets destroyed. Man, he almost. That's a weird retreat path for the Falchion Jaegers. <clears throat> well, and you called it Seth Hellcat coming out now for Ares. And it makes a lot of sense, but he's just got to avoid walking into that pack wall. Those two pack 40s uh, will wear down a Hellcat really, really quickly. Ares has the triple cap back on. Look at this, the KD is almost exactly even. Which, it, which actually it tells you just how well Avatar has been doing dealing with Ranger infantry and managing a one-to-one -one kill death ratio with Grenadiers and a single squad of Falsham Jaegers. So good use of the Brumbear, good use of the P4s, good use of the machine gun, for sure. Our front line failed. 250 points remain for us. Looks like P4s pushing on the north side of the map here looking for a flank. They could catch this uh, AT gun out. That's when you miss the uh, the Wehrmacht mortar with its flare ability. I feel like that would be really Victory valuable in this context. Looks like Ares is building a mortar pit or a machine gun in the, the center of the map here. AT gun starts to plink away at the Brum Bear, but the P4 is on the flank and they will crush this. Hellcat in support whiffs its first shot. Ooh. Rangers get pushed off by the Brum Bear. This is a big engagement here. Both AT guns. Both AT guns under a lot of pressure. Hellcat forced to back up. Brum Bear may go down. Oh, Rapid Artillery Barrage coming in again to deal with these pack 40s. Panzer IV is forced away. Ooh, one pack 40 knocked out with a direct hit. Oh. Second. Oh, I forgot about them. The Meanwhile, one of the M1 AT guns is destroyed. The second pack 40 about to get knocked out. I'm sure Ares will just destroy it with the bazooka. Yep. So pack wall gone. Yep. Now the Hellcat looking for these P4s wisely backs away. Damn, I, I thought the skirmish was going to go differently. Yeah, I really thought I, I thought Avatar had him, like backed in there. AT guns knocked out, but good use of the artillery. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Is that what you thought? How that was gonna go? No, I thought Avatar was gonna annihilate the the AT guns at least, and then back off. But he lost so much stuff. But right he kept now. his three vehicles alive. Yeah, but he lost the pack wall. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be expensive. I guess that's the question. He's got plenty of fuel. Does he go for a third P4? Or does he go for uh, the packs again? With only one vehicle in the field for Ares, I think a third P4 is probably the answer. MG Bunker sets up to cover the center VP. Falchion Jaeger's forced away. And Ares keeping a lot of VP pressure on, which he, he needs because he was behind for a long time. So we're just about to reach VP parity here. Second Hellcat coming out, and Avatar going for uh, another Grenadier squad, which I think is an interesting choice. What do you th what do you think, Seth? Grenadier, Stoss, Falsham Jaeger, Panzer Grenadier. Oh, he's, he's making Grenadiers. Okay. Yeah. What? Okay. Did you see the captain get out of the building? No. But uh, I was uh, I was wondering why a Grand Air Squad. I guess they're cheap. And yeah. 
the, I don't know, I would have gone for a Sauce Trooping or something. Yeah, or if you still want the Panzerfaust, you go for the Fallschirmjäger, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. But, so, fire. I don't know if you saw it on the, on the south side of the map, the MG set up to try to cap. The captain got out of the building, and I was like, what are you doing? But he hops out to call <laughs> in the mortar barrage, and then hops right back in, which I thought was really clever. And here we go. Oh, Ranger Squad in danger going down to these P4s. Hellcats come to kind of force the P4s away. Oh, down to one model. P4 is unable to finish the engagement. Oh, there's your American line. Yeah. Rangers on the flank. Brand new Grenadier squad goes down to Ranger Assault to the center. Now, I guess it doesn't matter which infantry they chose because they are, uh, they're gone. Yeah, he's facing three Ranger squads now. That's it, Ranger squads. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be uh, it's gonna be hard to deal with. Yeah. AT guns and Hellcats rotating to the center to deal with this Brumbear. No. Oh. There you go. Let's see if the bazooka penetrates, it'll apply a stun. The bazooka bounces. Another MG42 on the way out. Oh, the Hellcats don't pursue the Brumbear. I think with the P4s being repaired, they had an opportunity to knock that Brumbear out. Instead, they're going to back up. Ares is going to heal up. And so, the captain and the artillery beacon, Ares has pretty much secured the south VP. So I think it looks like his strategy, now that VP parity has been achieved, is to really focus on holding the center and probably try to go for a winning engagement here. And those false Omega is very durable and the P4 is doing a lot of damage to the Rangers. Here come the Hellcats. Grenadiers move up to, to use a snare. They're forced to retreat. Brumbear now fully healed. So, Sep, what's Avatar's move here? Like, what do you think he does? He's got a little bit on the back foot, but he's got good vehicle composition. Well, the heaviest tank you can get is the drum bear, unfortunately, right now. Yeah. Knocks out the AT gun. You can get the two pads of force, perhaps. He also hasn't added the armored skirts. Oh, yeah. Might come in handy. That'd be an easy... Because he's got so much in terms of resources. Yeah, another, he's got the pop cap for another P4 or another drum bear. Uh, and then the armored skirts would make a big difference too in helping survive some of these AT barrages. Uh, he might want to delete the fighting position in the middle. Brumbear should be able to do that fairly easily. Uh, he's got another pack 40 coming out. That'll also help um, packs you really well against fighting positions. Ooh, Rangers suppressed. Wow, the round like goes nowhere. I'm very confused. Now three Hellcats on the flank. Trying to chip away at the front there. Ares recaps the center. Oh, there's no, no, no. P4 oh. is in danger. Stunned. Hellcats moving up. Meanwhile, hey, Rangers co come in on the flank. Uh, grenade comes in on the G42 here. Only kills two models, and so those Rangers would be forced to leave. Ooh. MG42 almost down to the mortar. It'll get away. Yeah, now the Brumber's gonna move up to deal with this fighting position. Mm, Avatar is a little ton of ton of vision. Uh, nothing has been happening in the north for quite a while. Fighting position down. Brumbear reaches triple veterancy. Final shot, a dying shot of a Hellcat knocks out the Brumbear. But we're at VP parity here. The center victory point, decap. Ares uses a lot of munitions on that rapid artillery barrage. Uh, but it's not hitting anything now. Paul Shumigas takes some damage. Here we go. Good salvo in on the P4. Pack 40 forces away the Hellcats. 
an avatar determined to continue to use these MD-42s. I mean, really smart. That's how he's holding on to this VP down here and dealing with uh, area superior infantry. Oh, that's that grenade. Yep. There goes MG-42. Hellcats on the flank again. The well, Rangers at risk of getting run down here. They're very clumped up. They take a lot of damage, but it'll get away. There you go. There's the third P4. <clears throat> oh, man. Rangers hit a mine trying to flank the, the MG. We felt the fucking enemy! Avatars is pretty good right now. He's got an AT gun to de deter the Hellcats. Mm -hmm. Ares lacks manpower to build anything. Yeah, he could get another right Hellcat now. out right now. The Rangers uh, do eventually flank the machine gun. They're going to take that northern VP. Hellcats push away at the P4. The Pack 40 is there to support this, so they'll back up. Victory point is under enemy control. Ares just, sorry. Go ahead. No, what are you saying? Ares just uh, keeps reinforcing the ranger squads, even though he could, in theory, just pause the reinforcement and get the vehicle. Yeah. Then, but when you reinforce infantry squads constantly like that, you're always on the field. You don't, you don't have a uh, a moment in which in which you are gone. Mm -hmm. So it's much much quicker, uh, much quicker quicker rotation. So Avatar counterattacks in the south with two P4s and Falschmiggers, kills the captain and knocks out the artillery beacon. Rangers trying to capture the center here. Mortar is going to chip away at MG42, but now with three P4s coming in. Hellcats on the flank again. And they do some damage, but they're unable to finish. Yeah, see there, he's got the armored skirts up on these vehicles. Rangers fighting Falschmiggers on the uh, south side. Pioneers get knocked out. Oh, that ranger squad is in danger of going down. Four. Okay. Oh. It's still up. Oh. Hellcats finish it off. Pack 40 almost knocks out one of the Hellcats. Ranger squad takes quite a bit of damage. Third Hellcat on the field. So two full health Hellcats, but the damage went- Oh, here comes the Luftwaffe Strafe. One Hellcat goes down to the P4, traded for a P4, but a second Hellcat goes down to the Strafe. Oh man. And the Strafe goes all the way into Ares' base area. Double Vet Mortar takes a ton of damage here too. Ares has no anti-air. And now this is going to allow Avatar to take control of the center VP. And double vet mortar knocked out in base sector by the Luftwaffe strafe. Oh boy. Back to company of skill planes. So one plane has gun damage for you. Oh man. That loiter knocks down a couple of uh oh here we go, the counter artillery on the MG. Second round knocks it out. Rangers trying to keep the Falcon Niggers from decapping. Oh, but they step outside the circle. And the Falcon Niggers get the capture. Here comes the Hellcat to help the P4. Pack 40 knocks, knocks it back a little bit. Another P4 out on the field. So Ares now behind the 8 ball in terms of the anti vehicle. Trying to decap the center here. Good salvo of bazooka shots. Oh man, Rangers hanging in here trying to get the center VP and sacrificing a couple models for it. Pioneers in the south forced off by the MG42. <clears throat> yeah, Ares missing that mortar now. He's got a slight cap advantage, but the Pack 40 is going to move up and immediately recover the center VP. Pioneers standing by. And now you see the KD very firmly in Avatar's favor. 
So having all these vehicles on the field, even dealing with the elite infantry, especially the Brumbear did so much work getting to Vet 3. And I'm really impressed that Avatar's been able to keep this up with basically one squad of infantry. Rangers forced away. Falsion Vegas don't drop a model. They want it back. Leaving a hazard removal package. Rangers on the flank here at this machine gun. Uh, and one model steps into the uh, fuel point here. So, yep, Avatar notices it. Sees the flank coming and repositions the machine gun. So really, really sharp play. Rangers go looking for the MG. If it's not set up, though, the Rangers will win this. Yeah. Yep. That MG is going to retreat. Uh oh. But now Grenadier is capping the VP on the north side of the map. Man, with the tick rate. Yeah, that that advantage is going to hurt Ares quite a bit, even with Rangers capping on the opposite side. A brief triple cap. Now. You've got a P4 and what looks like, yep, another Falsion Vega squad here coming in. So that North VP is essentially going to be off limits. Ares now forced into fighting over the center VP. He's got a, a hull down P4 uh, with a pack 40 and a triple vet Falsion Vega squad there. Uh, so it looks like this is going to be it. Ares has one push. And right now he's very spread out, moving towards the northern VP. Grenadier is forced off. Rangers moving up to the center. Hellcats available to support, but don't push in. Here comes the artillery on the P4. But the Falsham Jaegers deny the capture. Rangers moving across from the flank. Hellcats are going to try to pick up this P4. Pack 40 available to support. Oh, P4 almost done. Artillery knocks it out. Wow. And the AT gun cleared as well. Here's the other P4. Both players down to 25 VPs. Hellcats going to pursue this P4 here. Engineer's going to capture the middle. Oh, Snare comes in on one of the Hellcats. Ares trying to cover it with the other. And that P4 goes down. And it looks like Ares is going to grab the center here. And survive with both of his Hellcats. Knocking out the Pack 40. But Avatar will hold on to the North VP. What does he have left? He's got enough fuel for another tank. But with two Hellcats on the field, I don't know if that's the answer. Oh, instead, infantry going to take the center and... Uh -oh. And he's got Pioneers capping on the south side. And Ares, all of his units severely damaged, including including his Hellcats. Bulldozer are on his way out. But he's got to get some units back on the field to capture these VPs. Hilarious to watch the gigantic 76 mil on this Hellcat shoot and do no damage to these infantry. Oh man. Avatar is going to get the triple cap here. And that essentially gives Ares about 25 seconds. Mortar trying to cap this VP. MG42's got it covered. And Ares calls GG. And that's the game. He capitulates. Holy cow. Alright. So, uh, pretty crazy ending there. Um, while Sepis kind of figures out notes for how for a post-match discussion, uh, I'm just going to go through the build order for everyone. So, starting with Avatar, obviously playing as a Luftwaffe battle group. He was Pioneer, Kettenkrod, Infantry Company, MG42 into three Grenadier. So, pretty good for map control. A lot of utility there with those infantry. Then he goes to Panzer Grenadier Company. And then this is when he locks in the Luftwaffe battle group. So, Sepis and I talked about it a little bit. The choice of going with Fallstream Jaegers over Panzer Grenadiers or eventually Stoss Troopen. Uh, and I think the general thought is here, they get the camo bonus, obviously, but really it's the ability to continue to manage the threat of American light vehicles that you get from the Panzer Faust. So pretty useful there. 
Um, then he texts his med station for, for base healing, which ends up being really important with the Ranger DPS. Starts building some pack 40s, builds his Panzer company, and gets a Brumbear out first. Really smart uh, decision here, especially because Ares is playing extremely infantry heavy. Going to advanced logistics, you really you haven't seen any of the light vehicles, so the Brumbear is definitely the way to go to attrit some of those infantry and deal with even the Ranger bazookas. Um, gets a second pack 40 out. It's another MG42 out, and this kind of reflects his general approach to managing the Ranger infantry across the map is really, really high level MG42 play for that suppression, force retreats, zone out parts of the map, etc. He gets a couple of Panzer IVs out, and then you see kind of replacing uh, some losses and adjusting. So another Pioneer, uh, a Pac-40, an MG42, a Grenadier, which I know we're going to talk about it, is kind of a, a wild decision there at the, at the end of the game, late game. Um, another pack 40 uh, and then a panzer a third panzer 4 I think he only ever has two out on the field at the time um, he texts armored skirts uh, one more panzer 4 one pioneer and then a fall shoemaker at the end which I think actually is like a really smart choice he uses that to lock down uh, the northern VP and that ends up being decisive for him uh, and then looking at kind of Ares build here US advanced infantry battle group right you've got two scouts right off the bat which actually, you know, we talked about in the cast, like a little bit unsure why he would go two scouts. Knowing he's going Rangers and they'll get the fourth model with the Artillery Observer uh, upgrade, that actually makes uh, even more sense. He locks in advanced infantry right away, builds his barracks, goes three rifle squads, which is interesting because, I mean, the standard, the meta for US, if you're going to play really infantry heavy, is even four or five rifle squads. It gives you a lot of capping power, it gives you ability to generate a lot of pressure. And it's something I know, like Aries has told me that that's what he likes. Um, so at some point, you know, I may hit him up and, and ask him why he only ended up with three there. Uh, was it just manpower bleed or whatever? Uh, goes infantry support center for the upgrades, gets a mortar out, which is really useful, not just for handling the MG42 play, but for also generating some attrition uh, with the grenadiers in cover. Then he techs advanced logistics, which is really critical to him playing rangers efficiently. He gets a med station. Uh, obviously for the healing converts two of the rifle squads to rangers gets his motor pool an at gun and a chaffee which is kind of an interesting choice um you know for a little bit more fuel i think he was really worried about getting run over by vehicles chaffee doesn't accomplish a whole lot here um but he had the fuel for it so uh it's one of those things where maybe getting the tank depot a little sooner and getting um you know hellcats out earlier or uh, maybe switching instead of doing the chaffee but getting another AT gun and then the survivability upgrade from the ISC might have helped his infantry a little bit but uh, nitpicky at best there uh, gets his engineer out to support the chaffee gets another AT gun then he builds his tank depot uh, converts his last water rifleman into rangers and then over the course builds five hellcats uh, only ever ends up with three on the field at a time and then at the very end of the game gets a, a bulldozer out which I think, had the game continued to go on, that build is really in his favor, right? The bulldozer is going to help him knock out the team weapons, dislodge the false uh capping up VPs. It just shows up just a little bit too late, and losing the scouts and losing the engineer, his field presence just isn't there, uh, and Avatar is able to close it out. So that's going to do it for the build order review here, and then uh, I'll grab Sepus and we'll get back into the, uh, the post-match discussion. All right, so I'm back here with Sepus. Uh, we were chatting a little bit off camera. Honestly, like the play here was pretty clean um, and not a lot to really nitpick from either player, which makes sense considering the match went 45 minutes and down to, you know, uh, almost single digit VPs left on both sides. So the first thing we talked about, you know, obviously when we do the reviews here, I normally focus on like the guy who lost, like what did they do differently to win this? Uh, but Sep, you were talking a little bit about the way Ares built into uh, the Advanced Infantry Battle Group and the Rangers. Uh, you kind of want to expand on that? Uh, yeah, Ares uh, committed to the Advanced Infantry. It was like his play. He, he, he wanted to play it. Mm -hmm. It was not a reaction. He was trying to put his opponent on the back foot by having cheaper Rangers. Uh, and... Uh, if he had not picked that, he might have gotten a vehicle sooner. But I, I think it really helped him because you could have you could have seen the whole game that he was rotating Rangers all over and all, all over again, not waiting for a vehicle, not not waiting to get more manpower or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So I that was uh, yeah that was that was his style I think. Yeah, and and that 
it can be really valuable to know going into a game like this is how I want to play. And so your reactions to what your opponent doing are a little bit more like micro adjustments versus going in without really a plan. You know, uh, I will say like knowing Ares and, and his style, I know he normally likes having like a fourth mainline squad. And I think you started to feel that as the game went on, only having three Ranger squads. The, the upside of the Rangers is they're going to win pretty much every engagement they get into oh, yeah. un until the late game. Right. And then the only guys that can really stand toe to toe with them are like Vet Three, Fallsham Jaeger, the Stoss Uh But he he went for and unlocked the artillery observers first. And I think there's something to be said. I know why he did it, right? Because he he sees like I need advanced logistics before I start converting my rangers. So he needs to wait for that 70 fuel. But I mean, I see it a lot, especially in team games, when the very first uh command point goes to unlock rangers and the first rifle squad out on the field suddenly becomes a ranger squad like man the power spike from those guys hitting the field at like the six minute mark can really mm -hmm. throw your opponent for a loop uh and so you know i wonder because Ares basically gave up the first 200 vps uh to avatar and spotted him that lead you know i i just thinking back like if he had converted one squad first uh a little bit earlier and it run Avatar off the map or, or kind of cemented the lines in the map. Maybe maybe he doesn't lose. Maybe he wins by, you know, 17 VPs. Um, maybe, uh, yeah, it was a really tight game. Mm -hmm. So little micro skirmishes like that could have carried on quite a bit. Yeah, a little bit of RNG with the weapons drops, right? He got a lot of BARs, which for the Rangers are, are kind of a, a downgrade, right? Because the, the Thompsons are so much better up close. Um, the yeah. BRs don't add a ton at range. Um, you kind of want bazookas, and I think he eventually got a couple. But yeah, if you don't get bazookas on the Rangers or you don't get flamethrowers, you start to feel that in the late game as the vehicles show up. Uh, the other thing you saw, he had the two scout squads, he had the captain, that he was using quite a bit for capping power on the flanks. And so as those were knocked out as the game went on, it you know he just didn't have... The, uh, the field presence to maintain the VP pressure that I think he wanted, like you saw in the mid-game. Did you have uh, anything, any other thoughts on uh, Aries stuff? Uh, there were, I was thinking about the rotations, whether it's uh, advantageous to just keep reinforcing your infantry as fast as you can, or if it's like, oh, well, maybe I should get a vehicle or something, so I'm just going to halt the reinforcements for a bit. That's, mm -hmm. that's what I do, but I might reconsider doing that now that I think of it, because it, it keeps you off the field. You, you got a bunch of unreinforced squads, and they have to sit, sit in your base now, and your opponent just caps up the map. So, yeah, I'll give it a cheeky cheeky play. Yeah, I, I know you called it out during the cast a little bit, right? There, were, there was one spot where, like, man, he could get a, another Hellcat or a Bulldozer out right now, but because he's got Ranger Squad cycling back and reinforcing constantly, the manpower is just sitting at like a 200 level where you can't really buy anything. Uh, yeah, but it was, it was a really tight end there. Mm -hmm. And just keeping your opponent like, oh man, oh man, he's pushing again. Uh, okay, what do I have? Uh, that's, that's, I think, yeah, that's advantageous. It, yeah. it, wears, it wears the opponent down uh, mentally. He's, he's more tired, I would say, afterwards. Yeah, if yeah. you're just if you're just on the field constantly. Yeah, no, that's a good point. It's interesting and like again, we're we're just kind of nitpicking here because these guys both played an awesome game and trying to figure out what might have given uh, you know areas the edge at the end. Um, thinking a little bit about Avatar uh, and his approach, um, obviously did a great job at the end, recognizing that Ares had even though Ares had won more or less won the the climactic engagement of the game had been forced off the field and getting the triple cap on fast enough uh, to pull out the VP victory. Um, also, like really good and determined use of HMGs throughout the match. Uh, for those of you who deal with, like have to deal with Rangers a lot, they can be really difficult uh, to manage, but in a 1v1 setting like this, where they're not blobbed up and there's a little bit of space, uh, I thought, you know, Avatar put on a clinic and how to use the MG42 to suppress and force off a ranger advance, you know, force him to retreat to headquarters, get him off the field, and then relocate the MG so that he's always finding it with the rangers rather than, you know, constantly knowing where it is and flanking it. I, the one thing that we talked about 
for Avatar, and we talked about it in the cast and then afterwards, when uh, he got that like late game Grenadier squad out, it was kind of a weird a weird choice. Um, he had plenty oh, yeah, of resources. That, that gave me gave me quite a pause. I guess there mm -hmm. there are some reasons to it, mm -hmm. like the snare you said, mm -hmm. and also that they're quite cheap and they they can reinforce. Uh, they can like re replace uh, models of a more elite squads, but he did not have any at that point, so yeah. Yeah. maybe he just need maybe he just need like a capping power that can that can still shoot. But considering there were three ranger squads on the field. Mm. Yeah. And they he lost it imme immediately. <laughs> immediately. The the merge function is really useful. And so I could see he keeps it around his pack wall, right? Merging into the pack can be really nice. Really nice. Uh, something that I, you know, I've seen a couple times is like you, you pick up like a pack's decrewed, you pick it up on the field and immediately merge into it. And then you don't have to one deal with the risk of it being at only two crew members and two, you don't have to drag it back to your base to reinforce. Um, now granted, Feynmanville is a very flat map. So a lot of the, like the retreat distances or back to base distances are relatively short, but yeah, the, the Grenadier is great for that. Um, I think he figured that out too, like came to the same conclusion that we did because the next time he brought in an infantry squad, he actually dropped Balsham Jaegers onto that northern VP. And that ended up allowing him to, like, one, grab the VP, but then two, uh, have enough kind of combat power there to prevent it from being overrun as the VP started to tick down. And I find, you know, they're a little squishy at Vet Zero, especially against, like, high-level rangers, but they're not as squishy as Grenadiers, and they have a lot of utility. So, uh, good choice there. Uh... Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember if we had anything else for Avatar. Did you did you see anything else in his play that you wanted to highlight? It was an interesting choice to pick Luftwaffe this late. I guess it was like, okay, I need more infantry, and Panzer Grenadiers are not going to cut it, so let's just get Luftwaffe and you know, let's just get Volkschmeigers. Mm -hmm. I, I guess that was his line of thinking there. It, it paid off. Mm -hmm. He got a Stukaloiter down one. Yep, and he he got that. Uh, what's it called manpower reserves or something like that it's yeah. like lowers the cost of, of reinforcement yeah you read my mind i i think that actually helped him quite a bit going into the late game reinforcing the machine guns reinforces the falsch from jaegers uh and allows him like he had enough manpower clearly uh because he had three p4s he had a brum bear out and he was able to get him the armored skirts so he wasn't hurting for manpower in the way you might think you would be up against three you know vet three ranger squads at the end of the game well Sep, uh, thanks for casting this one with me. I think that's all we got here, yeah? Yeah, I think that's, that's all we got. All right, cool. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.